Play different. Greetings fellow Mac Addicts! In this video we're taking a look at HeartQuest, an arcade game originally released in 1992 by Injima Ragnamalm. As the name suggests, it's a clone of the classic Mac game Crystal Quest, though mechanically it's very stripped down. This is because it was originally made as a Valentine's gift for Ragnarmalm's wife before being released to the public. As such, it's an entirely non-violent game. The player has no weapons, nor can they die. They just have to move around the screen with the mouse, which controls velocity rather than position as in Crystal Quest, and collect all the hearts and, optionally, any bonuses that happen to fly by. The quicker they do this, the more bonus they get at the end of each level. The main thing the player has to worry about are rogue pieces of flypaper which will temporarily immobilise them on contact. This is a problem because the only way to lose the game is to run out of time. In the default mode, it's very hard to lose as the game only lasts 3 levels, which I believe is the original mode the Valentine's present was built around. It's all about finishing those three levels as fast as possible to get a high score. Then there is Macho Mode, which increases the difficulty every level until it basically becomes impossible to grab all the hearts before the time runs out. Oh, there are also bonus levels where hearts just fall out of the sky. It's all very romantic. Due to how simple the game is, Injima later released it with the source code as a demo for his popular sprite animation toolkit. So surprise surprise, many reskinned versions of this game appeared on the internet. The Slick Willy series are some of the more infamous examples, which cast players as the disembodied head of Bill Clinton in a quest to eat as much junk food as possible, while also avoiding political enemies, as well as Hillary and Monica Lewinsky. Then there is Garcia's Guitars, a very colourful tribute to the Grateful Dead's Jerry Garcia, which is loaded with stoner jokes. I asked Ragnarmalm if he was unhappy about his innocent Valentine's Day oh. present being reskinned in these ways, and he said no, and that he even found them funny. He also says it would make him a bit of a hypocrite, since he made a Q-Bird clone called Bert, which lampooned a Swedish politician. He says that the only thing that bugged him was when people released a HeartQuest reskin and gave him zero credit. Needless to say, I won't be mentioning any of THOSE shameful games in this video. While I'm here, I'll just say that making games as gifts is a very fun and rewarding experience. I've done it myself by making little interactive birthday cards using the authoring tool Twine. But yes, that is HeartQuest, a simple Crystal Quest clone which started as a gift for a man's wife, only to reappear many times on the internet, often in very unexpected forms.